Hi everybody, this is John McCleary and I am going to give you a quick demonstration on how to embed a voice thread project into a Google Earth placemark. So on my screen right now um, I have the ever so familiar stock Windows photos um, that come with uh, Windows XP and uh, I just threw a couple together and added some random chatter just to kind of create uh, a little voice thread in a hurry. So basically I have a voice thread right here it's ready to go. I'm going to click on the little widget at the top left hand corner and I'm going to click on the embed link and that gives me some different options about uh, different sizes, uh, links, um, how to put it in MySpace and so on. Uh, I would like to put a small version of this uh, voice thread project into a Google Earth placemark. So I'm going to so highlight the code and right click it and copy it and then I'm going to jump over to Google Earth and I'm going to find the place in the world where I want to post this this uh, voice thread project. Um, in this case, it just happened to be in London at that big giant Ferris wheel. So at this point, I'm just going to click on Add, and I'm going to click on Add. And I'm going to just call this Test Placemark. And you can, of course, change the the size and what it is and so on and so forth. How about a boat anchor? Let's try that just just for the fun of it. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller so it's not so big on the screen. I'm going to click OK. And there it is. It's right there. Now under the description, this is where we embed the code. So I'm just taking the code that I copied from VoiceThread and pasting it into my description. And I'm going to click OK at that point. Now I'm back at Google Earth. There's my place mark. I can hover over it. And if I click on it, watch what happens it's like magic. There's my voice thread. I can double click it and it's going to start playing. Um, I don't think you can hear the, the narration but you can see the, the actual um, voice thread as it is moving along and you'll see it transition to the next picture and that's what we have. So anyway you can also do this with um, any kind of project that you've created with Animoto as well and you know, um, because that is more of a uh, music based black box kind of approach to to uh, videos or to pictures you can have a great idea to put that in in a kind of as a splash video before at the beginning of one of your Google Earth tours so I hope you enjoy that and have fun with it